that is 90 minutes of my life. I am not getting back. Um, that was just terrible. Uh, Millwall won, Burnley nil. Uh, I have to say that is so, so toothless from Burnley. Um, I think we can make all the excuses. You can say it's Parker's fault. You can say whatever, but those players today looked fucking toothless. Absolutely horrendous. You know, none of them want to put the ball in the back of the net. I've never seen anything quite like it. Just, uh, I've never seen a team that plays so passive. It's so frustrating. And I know people said it's Parker's style of play, but he made the changes. I don't actually blame Parker for this. I feel like it's the, on the players this. It's like every week we say, oh, it's Parker's fault or there's like this negativity on Parker. The players don't want to, they just don't have any end product. You can put whoever out there. You know, he's made he made three changes and and it made what? No difference at all, really, did it? You know, Jay Hatonja, there was this big debate all week over which one that you'd play, but neither offered much. I mean, Hatonja had a few chances at the start and then vanished into the game. As you know, I just don't, I just don't think we have a striker at this level. We don't. Uh, Foster's injured. Not having Fleming killed us today. Um, I'm just, I'm just so disappointed. It's another week where. It's going to be the same fans complaining that, you know, Parker out and all this nonsense. It just, it's so frustrating because it's every week we hear the same people whinging about it. And I, I'm just sick of the negativity. It's like, I get, it was a, it was such a crap result today. And I'm frustrated as hell, right? I'm not going to ask for the manager's head when the players can't put the ball in the back of the net. It's just, it's just rinse and repeat. It's the same thing as Coley Oshaw, no end product. Anthony, no end product. It's this. It's just the same players every week that we are depending on, and all these people that are bigging up these players, saying we're going to steamroll the league. I just think it's embarrassing. Like we were so poor. We are, and people. I, I've got to say this. People think this squad is like a championship winning team. It's not. It is not at all. You've got a couple of outstanding players in that team, but overall that squad is not winning the league against someone like Leeds, Sheffield United, you know, the and Sunderland I'd say, I, you know, there's three teams there that I can comfortably say have better squads than us, um, so it, it lacks quality and it, it's a squad that needs some serious investment in January and the summer, um, I'm, I just can't believe I wasted my time watching that game, it was so poor, um, and I just feel like it's just another week where the fans are going to be on everyone's backs and they're arguing with each other on social media. And it's just like, God, being a Burnley fan is so painful. But um, I can't even stress how much I don't want to watch Burnley at the minute just because of the negativity around it all. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the game summary. Poor from the first, probably, I'd say half an hour into the game, we just seemed to vanish. The game just got away from us and we never really got going again. Um, and fair play to Millwall. You can't really argue um, that we deserved anything from that game. They wanted it more than us. Uh, they showed more fight than us. And overall, it was just a really pathetic and spineless performance from Burnley. And I'm, I'm more than happy to say that. I'm very positive about my football club, but that today was just so poor from top to bottom. I don't really know where Parker goes from here. Like, He's got a team of people that don't want to put the ball in the back of the net. And I, I, I don't really get what he can change at the minute with Foster injured. But that's me. That's my rant over with. Um, and I hope, I'm hoping for an improvement. I hope Parker really gets into them this week. And we see some changes because some, some it's got to give. Some it's got to give. Um, Who do you even give your man of the match to? Maybe CJ. I th think he had quite a good game. Trafford was decent enough. Um, I don't think anyone was outstanding really that game so um, man of the match to the linesman that got uh, cramp and had to come off 